Right, I'm here to talk about maintenance for the little gym. I'm not sure where to start, so I think we'll go from the bottom to the top. Um, we've designed them to ideally not need a lot of things done to them, so I'll tell you the things that I know along the way and hopefully they'll make sense and I'll come up with other things as we go. Uh, the first thing that I would talk about are the hinges and we have our own hinges made and they're generally really silent but sometimes like they can get a little bit of a squeak in them like, like any hinge can do. There's uh, multiple ways to get to them but probably the best way is just to tilt it over like this be careful to place the pulley down maybe on a cushion or something like that I'm on a table so I know that it's going to be um, protected and then you can see the hinges exposed along the top here and if you have something like some really fine sewing machine oil you can just put a little drop in between each gap along along the hinge there um, don't overdo it and what wipe up the oil afterwards because it's really easy to get a mess and and as you work it the uh, particularly if your environment is dusty it can make a nasty paste and spread over the wheel and it'll just be gross and and not good so yeah just a little bit there and uh, it can work down through and be nice and silent when, when you're treadling away um, this is not really a maintenance thing but what one of the things that I find when I'm using the gym is that with the geometry is a bit different and the hinges a lot of people when they step on them to pedal they put their heels right back right over the back and they end up doing like wheelies with a gym you need your feet a bit further forward to keep the weight on the front of the pedal because it floats so that it stays on the crank so rather than being way back like this where it flips up in the air and clicks and clacks and can hit the drive wheel if you're not careful have them a bit further forward so that your heel is overall over almost uh you wait slightly forward of the hinges and then it will keep keep the um the pedals on top of the crank assembly the we have little roller bearings in there uh they are sealed units so they should be fine over um for ever basically uh, one thing that will happen over time is that your belt will wear and it's partly because we've got this unique twist in it and so as the belt comes up it's going to basically rub against the side of the wheel which is uh, against the side of the groove there which is just the way it is so it will get smooth and hard over time and then it starts slipping and then rather than having your pedaling action driving the drive wheel it ends up just slipping in the groove and so you're wasting wasting effort um, you can feel it when, when they knew that they're almost kind of gritty and, and grippy and uh, that's that's the ideal so I'm going to show you later on how you can change that drive band or in a separate video but it's not too tricky you just yeah watch and we'll, we'll learn how to do it so that this drive band can wear and be replaced and the same with the top one as well and if you notice it's starting to slip particularly when it's down on a on the small groove there you can actually loosen the head move it up put a bit more pressure on it to keep that band tight because you always want to keep it tight so that you, the, the effort you're putting in is not being lost along the way so I'll just move that back up um, a trick to put them on if you have a look here and looking at the wheel from this side the right hand side's got to be close to the drive wheel so you can you can put them on that way round where the left hand side is close but it kind of starts the wrong way we alter the crank geometry a little bit so that it will pedal forwards when you start so it's got to be uh, the right hand side is close what you can do is start in the groove put your thumb get it started in the groove on the right hand side get your thumb put it on and hold it hold the band in the groove give the drive wheel a tighten and it actually loads itself 
on and because a lot I think because we try and keep them nice and tight it can be quite tricky and particularly if your hands are getting less flexible it can be quite quite tricky to get that keep on. Keep quite a bit of pressure on, turn it around and once it gets over the top it'll just clip into place. Okay. Um, the other thing that we notice or, or we talk to some people about is that it's important where we try hard to make sure that the stem is as rigid as possible in here so we put a bit of pressure on this little stop here and the stem to make sure that we can try and get things as rigid as possible okay um, and so when you slip this slider in this lock slider and sometimes it can be quite hard or or not go all the way in so long as it's it's in and firm that's all right it's not a big deal if it doesn't go back so long as it's nice and tight but if you if you're not careful sometimes you can knock against this this brace and uh and and it can sometimes move around or so it's important to make sure that that screw is tight and that that's in place there and so that it doesn't wobble around okay and um, other than that that's probably all that you need to know about the, the bottom half of the gem um, so the top half one thing that we find them that, that we're learning about is that uh, if you change the pulleys around make sure that you do it up firmly okay this is not like a, a, a wrist cracking strength that you've got to do it up with but it's going to be firm and um, bear in mind it's just a wee screw but there's a little flat on the shaft and you've got to line the screw up with the flat screw it up onto the flat and then it will uh, it will hold nice and firmly but, but we find that that sometimes people will get a wheel and they'll put that pulley on and they'll go my wheel wheel clicks and it's just that that screw has not been done up either in the right spot or, or firmly enough and so it can go click 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 uh, as it moves when 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 they're when they're treadling the wheel uh, other than that we i'll take the flyer off We recommend a little bit of something like Vaseline on the flyer shaft um, just to help the bobbin spin freely um, and you can all you also may find that when you get a new bobbin we will ream them to begin with and sometimes there will be a little bit of melted plastic that can be in there and make them a little bit tight if you pull the bobbin on and off several times like that it'll just knock the loose bits off and then spin nice and freely okay um, I'll put this tension string on and the other thing this is in the manual but turning the wheel around this way the springs got to go up and around to the right and this is primarily for when you're spinning in a clockwise direction okay and we'll load this up And I, I will hold the pulley when I do the flyer up again to, so that I can nip that up nice and firmly. Okay, so if you do it up without holding it there or holding it on the pedals, it'll come loose. And it's got to be, you know, it's got to be nipped up. Um, and that's about all uh, I can tell you about the gym. Beyond that, try and keep it clean. If you use some some of our uh, polish. Or, or any sort of polish and, and uh, you can rub down in between the, the, the sides on the base so that it will slide down nicely. And again just keep, keep your wood nice and polished, you don't need to overdo it and don't leave it in the sun, remember that wood is a, is a natural product and if you let it sit in the sun it's going to dry out even though we've conditioned it and dried it and stuff like that you've still got to be careful not to cook it or, or have it going through harsh environmental conditions yep. Yep. so if you if you are taking it to transport if, if you wanted to transport it this is the way 
I will do that. I will pop the drive band off and just loosen the loosen the stem. And uh, this this will fit in the bag just like this. But be be careful not to not to knock it around. And then put the put the drive band out the way. Loosen your screw. Oh, we need to we need to pop the front drive band off. Loosen the slider. And then I'm going to turn it over carefully. I'll turn it on its side carefully, being careful not to let the the pedals fly up and hit hit the wheel, and then just slip the lock screw into place, and then that'll keep it down there. And then that bit can go in your bag as well. Don't lose your drive band. And you can slip it all in your bag. Then it's simply to, to put it back together, it's the reverse of it on its side. Unlock it. Lift it up. The drive band can sometimes get caught in behind that stop, so put it clear. Slide it into place. Get on. The fine drive band goes on first. And then using our super special technique that I've showed you earlier, put it on the bottom groove, thumb on on the right hand side, press it firmly, rotate it round. And